Hey guys, uh, Ryan here again. Um, just uh, wanted to do a quick review on a, um, a switch panel. I guess this is a six gang with some extras uh, that you can get on Amazon. Uh, this one I think was 32 bucks or something like that. I'll, I'll post the link to it. Um, but you know how man, Amazon's uh, uh, algorithms change daily. So everything's always different. But um, I bought this actually for our steak body truck at work. Uh, we were putting in a bunch of lights for in the back for loading and unloading and some stuff up front and just, just some general stuff. It doesn't have a working cigarette lighter and um, the, the voltage gauge doesn't work. And this seemed to fit the bill pretty well. Um, and it's pretty big. Uh, it's not small. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you guys, because you never know what you see whenever you're looking on Amazon. And uh, so this is this is kind of what you get. And so basically what it looks like is... You power it up. Let me see here. So this is your positive and your negative. And then the switches, you run a positive to your relay. So I would not run. These are probably 15 amp switches. Uh, I wouldn't, you, it, it wouldn't really work out to try to run everything off of this because you would end up running off of this one circuit. So really this is appropriate for sending power to relays. So now this is all of 30 bucks. You can get a pack of 10 relays for like $12. So, you know, 30 amp, uh, you know, typical Bosch relays. They may be knockoff, whatever. Um, but you can get those pretty cheap. So you could be 40 bucks into a whole setup, you know, plus a little bit of wire and, and some time versus, say, four or $500 into an S-Pod. That being said, this is a completely flat plate and you would have you would have to find room to mount it. So, but for 30 bucks, I actually thought just the, just the parts alone were worth that, let alone how actually nicely it's wired. So, oh wait, hold on, we got another one here. So we're actually going to go, so this would be your feed, this would be your ground. I don't know what the blue, it might be, uh, blue and yellow might be, are they marked? I just realized it, I probably should have checked that before I did the, uh. The video, I'll have to figure it out, but I didn't really take my time running them. So, anyway, overall, just to run relays, that's a heck of a nice setup. Oh, you know, I don't know what they're for. The, 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 they're, you're powered for your for your 12-volt. So, because don't forget, so this is nice. You have a 12-volt outlet for, you know, cigarette lighter stuff, whatever, your phone charger and all that fun stuff. But... If you don't have your phone charger, as long as you have a cable, you're good to go. You've got a 1 amp and a, a, a 2.1 amp. So that's kind of cool. And then you've obviously got a voltage you know, meter on it, just letting you know how your battery is. So uh, I would say overall, for 32 bucks or whatever, uh, you get a lot out of this. So anyway, that's my review. I'm going to be back here in a second. I'm going to take a closer look so I can tell you how this is wired up. I didn't realize there were four wires coming off of it. Okay, I'm back. Didn't totally figure out how to uh, do it one-handed, but I believe part of it has to do with um, just how the output is. And um, I believe the yellow wire might be your dimmer switch and the blue might be a remote with the key. I, I, got, I got to figure that out. But, uh, you know, you throw the positive and the negative on it and kind of gives you, and this is using a drill battery, kind of give you an idea what they look like. You know what I mean? Hey, for, for the money... If I can let go of this. Nope. For the money, you really can't. You can't beat this. So, anyway, uh, you've got my thoughts on it. Uh, I will post some pictures and some videos up once I uh, get it in the steak body. And um, I think overall, it, it's pretty cool. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See ya.